Meshes and points have a variety of uses in OpenVSP, and honestly there are far too many to go into in detail for the purposes of this introductory tutorial, but we can at least cover some of the main ones. So when you bring in a mesh, chances are that you're trying to use something as a reference so you can create a parameterized model based on that structure. And that's fine. So in this case, we can turn on this fuselage and make it shown. And let's say, for example, that we didn't already have this set up so that it perfectly matched the surface. If we needed to maybe adjust the length or some of the things associated with it, we could slide these around until we got a good representation of the mesh. And OpenVSP is really good at that. So if you bring in, say, a mesh of a transport aircraft wing, for example, it's pretty easy to get the parameterized plan form of that wing almost spot on, just by eyeballing it and using a few sliders. If you have really complex curved surfaces and you want to really capture some of those transitions or if you have a cowling that needs to be just so well that's where something like fit model comes in and really shines so you'll take your mesh convert it to a point cloud and then all of those points start to be used as targets to try and manipulate these parameters so that you get a really good fit to the mesh that you brought in and there are a few other things that you can do with a mesh as well. So a mesh, if you'll recall, can have its own mass properties. So if you have a component that is defined in CAD and isn't very well represented in OpenVSP, you could create a blank and assign some point mass to it. You could create a representative VSP model and apply mass properties to that. Or you could simply apply volume or thin shell densities to the mesh itself and just leave it alone. And you can also apply negative volume to these meshes. So if you bring something into OpenVSP, it will at least treat it like it's a component and you can run mass properties. You can even run VSP Aero in panel mode using an STL that you imported. So if you have this really interesting complex fuselage shape and you want to see how that's going to behave at Mach 2, let her rip. Go ahead and bring it in, run panel mode, and turn the Mach number up to 2 and see what happens. No one's going to stop you from doing that. Now, the answer that you get might not necessarily be the most accurate one. It all depends on how you define your grid. But the point is that you can use meshes in a number of different ways in OpenVSP. And it really, it's kind of up to you to figure out the best application. But we're not going to restrict you in necessarily what you can do. We just trust you to do it wisely.